Okay, I want to give a couple examples here of, of how to um, sketch out some bearings uh, for the next section on uh, trigonometry. <clears throat> when you have a bearing south 30 degrees east, first thing you want to do is put a little grid in here for your north-south line. Okay, so this is north, south, east, west. And I like to put it in dashed lines. All right, so south 30 degrees east. So what that means that starting at zero, zero, you want to go south, but then off of that line, measure 30 degrees on the east direction. So that, that is a picture of a line with a bearing south 30 degrees east. All right, let's do north 75 west. First thing you do is put in your little grid. And you always start at what's called zero, zero. So north, south, east, west, zero, zero is there. So there's my starting point. This time I want to think north, and then off, off of north, I want to measure 75 degrees on the west direction. So there we go. There's 75 west off of the north degree. All right, here's one more. Now, if you want, stop the video and try these first and then see if you get them right. All right, so we're starting at zero, zero again, right? And I want to go south, west, southwest, 25 degrees. Boom, that's pretty easy. All right, one more. Here's a grid. Start at zero, zero. I'm going north and east, 45. I measured it off of the north. Okay. Um, you'll get to do some of these with your homework, so good luck. Okay, uh, here's a problem. The ship leaves port at noon, headed due west at 20 knots per hour. At 2 p.m., it changes course to north 54 west. Find the ship's bearing and distance at 3 p.m. First thing you need to do is a sketch. And the sketch is a little bit tricky. So, it leaves port at noon, headed due west. So, here we are. Here's our start point. If I'm headed east, west, north, south. Which way am I headed? Due west. So, this, this is the direction. Okay. Now, I'm going 20 knots per hour at 2 p.m. So, if I left at noon... And then at 2 p.m., something happens. I'm changing direction. So, 20 knots per hour for 2 hours. So, this distance is 2 times 20, or 40. All right? Now, <clears throat> I'm going to change direction. North, 54 degrees west. North is first. So, from this point, I'm going to draw a dotted line for my direction north. Off of north, I'm going to measure 54 degrees west, okay, so 54 degrees off of the north, and then I'm going to head west, all right, so you got that, so this is the 54, all right, this is a right angle, so we get 90 in here, so I can add those up, right, and what's that whole distance, do you know what it is? Well, you know what I really don't need to know? What I really need to know is this down here is 36, right? 36, 54, 90 adds up to 180. Check my arithmetic, please. All right, so here we are. So at 2 p.m., changes course. Now we're headed this far and find the ship's bearing and distance at 3 p.m. So if I started at 12, two hours this way, it's 2 o'clock. At 3 o'clock, I'm up here. So what distance do you think this is? going 20 knots per hour for one hour, so this distance is 20. And here I am. Here's the end point. The question wants to know what is this distance, right? Find the ship's bearing and distance. So what is this distance and what is this bearing here? So what is that degree? So there's a lot of stuff to figure out. I'm going to drop a perpendicular right here, because with this right triangle, I can find, we'll call this side A, we'll call this side B, we'll call this side X, is what I need to find. This is 36, this is 90, right? 
what that is, 54, right? Okay, now, I can find these sides using basic trig functions, right? I can do um, the sine of 36 degrees equals A over 20. So 20 sine 36 equals A. I can do <clears throat> the cosine of 36 equals B over 20. So 20 cosine 36 equals B. You with me so far? So now I got these two numbers, right? Now I have a big right triangle. In the big right triangle, I'm going to draw a new picture here. I have my side A, and this side here is 40 plus B. Right? Now I can find that angle, right, by using the inverse tangent rule, right, or the second function on your calculator, the second key, then the tangent key, right, and then what's the tangent of this? It's A over, then A divided by. 40 plus B, this I would put in a double parenthesis. And I should be able to get that angle. So I want you to try and figure it out and see if you can get it. It should come out to about 11.82 degrees. I'm going to leave this work for you. So you figure out the A, you figure out the B, and figure that out. Good luck. I know you can.